my loves. Today I'm going to be doing a video I have never actually done before and it's all about what is in my everyday makeup bag. And when I say makeup bag, like like my everyday makeup bag, these are on the days that I actually wear makeup. I don't actually wear makeup every single day throwing that out there and I obviously love playing with makeup so I switch it up quite frequently but these are the products that you know if I'm going out and running errands all day or I'm going to go see family or something like that and I want a little bit of makeup on my face but I don't want to go like full-on you know date night or going out kind of a look then this is usually what I gravitate to okay so I should probably have some sort of order to this should have organized this before I started filming. So we'll start with foundation. Uh, no, I won't. First, I'm going to start with taking the hair from my lip gloss. There we go. So first, I'm going to start with the products that you use on my face. And that's really where I'm going to be spending the majority of my time because I feel more put together when I actually have foundation on and blush on and all that kind of stuff. So that's typically where I spend most of my time. Um, so this will again vary on what I'm actually doing but assuming I'm using you know all of the products then what I will do is I will start with my uh, Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup and this is the best foundation I have ever used for my skin type it keeps me matte all day I never have to touch it up at all at all throughout the day and I have very oily skin so the fact that I don't have to is just amazing to me and what I actually end up doing because I don't really want a ton of heavy heavy coverage is I will combine it with the benefit brightening primer called that gal these two products together are just unstoppable I cannot get enough of them they are my favorite combos ever and I will apply it usually with my um, makeup sponge what is this thing called again no, it has a name. My beauty blender. That's what it is. I'll usually wet this first and it just, I don't know, it evens it out. It doesn't make it as thick or as cakey and it just gives me a smooth, even uh, complexion to work off of. If I'm having any sort of issues with zits or red spots or any anything like that, I will use a little bit of concealer. I've been very lucky lately and my skin has not been breaking out so I rarely have to use this which is great. But this is a fantastic concealer and this is by Bare Minerals. It's their correcting concealer, has an SPF of 20 in it and this one is in light one and I find this is the best one for my skin type or my skin tone I guess. And it's super creamy, but it doesn't cake up on your skin. It covers zits beautifully um, without making it look like you have like a giant like glob of something stuck to it, which just looks terrible on everyone. And then for under the eyes, I've talked about this product a billion times and you guys know how much I love this. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Treatment Concealer. And this stuff just covers up all of the dark spots. Dark spots? No, not dark spots. And this stuff is great when I'm not getting any sleep. You know what I'm saying? And then I set everything with my Bare Minerals Matte. I should really look at it before I tell you what it is. Bare Minerals Matte. Uh, SPF 15 foundation and this one is in 1N fairly light. This just gives me a little bit of extra coverage that maybe I wouldn't get otherwise. It just smooths everything out. It's very very fine fine powder so I find it doesn't look cakey or anything and it just, I don't know, it's just a great, I use it as a setting powder. But on the days where I don't actually want to go through all of the effort of putting on this entire face of makeup, what I will do instead is I will just take this, apply it under my eyes, around my nose, any redness that I have, blend it out, and then put this um, and just buff it into my skin. And that's a great substitute as well. It's much quicker on the days where I you know, want a little bit of coverage, but I don't really care that much. Um, and I just use these two products. And then for blush and blonde, blush and I can't talk today. Ugh. And then for blush and bronzer on the days where I'm going to be actually wearing blush and bronzer, I want something that's very neutral and is going to work with everything so I don't really have to think about it. So for blush, I use the L'Oreal True Match Blush and this is in Cool Toned Baby Blossom. This is C1 and 2. And I have it on my cheeks right now. It's just a good everyday staple color, super, ne <laughs> super neutral, and it works with everything and it's just a really good easy blush to wear on an everyday basis. And then for my bronzer, I use one by Physicians Formula. It's their organic wear bronzer. This is for light skin. 
and it's just got a nice combination of various bronze shades so it's not too dark it's not too light it just gives me a nice natural glow and it doesn't look like I'm you know painting Oompa Loompa face on and then for the rest of my face if I'm having a really bad brow day as in like my eyebrows have like morphed into like just crazy caterpillars I don't know whatever animal does this then I'll just smooth them out with a little bit of the Maybelline great lash and this is in clear I'll just put I'll wipe off most of the product like I will like wipe off most of the product and then I'll just put a little bit into my brows just to keep them in place because if I find if your brows are neat and groomed then you will look put together whether or not you have any makeup on so this is a staple of mine for sure and then for my eyes honestly I don't put a lot on my eyes if anything I mean it might just be just mascara in which case I usually go for my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, which you guys know how much I love this stuff. It's fantastic. And if you have had any issues with this mascara, I know a lot of you tried it and said it's really difficult to work with, try just like, just like pumping it a couple of times just to let some air in and then leave it for like a week. And that usually almost dries it up a little bit and just makes it a lot easier to work with and a bunch of you had actually recommended that as well so I'm glad I'm not the only one that does that um, but it just makes it a little bit easier to work with and you find as the like as the weeks and months progress it becomes easier and easier to work with and you will love it too I promise on the days where I am gonna put something on my lids then usually what it ends up being is the covergirl shadow pencils and this is in the number 350 you cannot mess this product up and I just apply it to my upper and lower lash line blend it out with my fingers maybe put a little bit on my lids as well and you're good to go it's really easy another one that I really like is by Mac and this is their power chrome eye pencil in life's luxury and it's a little bit darker so it's definitely more of a smokier look to it and I mean I'll just I can even like combine the two of these and you know put this one on first blend it all out and then add a little bit to my upper lash line it just adds some smokiness and makes it um, a bit darker and then for lip products I have three products that I really love and use pretty frequently and mostly on an everyday basis if I'm gonna choose just one product it's obviously gonna be lip balm and the one that I have been loving is by Kors and it's their guava lip butter and this is my second one now I love this stuff it's super moisturizing it's creamy and it stays on my lips and keeps them hydrated all day long which is great and then if I'm looking for a little bit of color like a tiny tiny bit what I'll typically use is my oh my gosh it's, it's so well worn I've like worn off all of the um, the letters on it I'm pretty sure this is by bare minerals but I will put it in the info bar below just so I make sure that I get you guys the right name of the product um, but the color is in Trailblazer, and it's a soft, pretty, peachy nude color. Really easy to apply, really easy to wear. I can put it on when I'm like running out the door and I don't have to think about, you know, if the lines are blended or anything like that. And then when I want a little bit of extra color, one product that I have been gravitating towards lately is by Revlon, and this is their Lip Butter, and this is in Wild Watermelon. And what I will typically do if it's like an everyday kind of a basis is I will concentrate the color more on the inside of the lip to give it that almost popsicle stained kind of look. And then I'll put something like this or more of a, a pinky nude kind of a gloss on top just to blend everything out. And I love the effect that it gives. It looks really pretty, really soft, very natural. And um, that's pretty much it. That is what I wear on an everyday basis on the days that I do wear makeup. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments below what other videos you guys want to see in the next little while and I will be making lists of different videos I can start filming and um, I hope you guys are having an amazing week and I will see you all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.